pom-poms. Aren't they fun? They are a perfect thing to put on top of uh, children's hats or you can even hang them from the bottom of your curtains or you can put them on the bottom of a afghan. They're real easy to make. You can use either a pom-pom maker or you can use cardboard. Let's show you a few of these things though that you can use to make a pom-pom. You have these rings that you have to you put them together so that you have this groove that shows right here and you take your yarn and you wrap it around wrap it around until you fill it up get it as thick as you want and you have to find the groove here you can see that I can put my thumbnail down in between and that's what you're going to cut the pieces of the yarn apart to make this fuzzy little pom-pom so that they part on that groove keep cutting all around the edge Sometimes when it's really bulky in some places, it's a little difficult to get your scissors to go through. You may have to just back up a little bit to get them to go through all the strands that you have. And it looks like I'm going to wind up with a fistful of little pieces of yarn, but this is the neat thing about this. The maker the little rings that you separate once you get all the yarn cut. So once you got the last bit of it cut, you can see you can separate it, the rings just a little bit. And this is where with the ridge you can Take your piece of yarn that you're going to secure all these little pieces of pom-pom to tie your knot. Because you have to really tie that knot really tight to get this to work. You slip rings off. Tighten your knot again. And of course, it looks like a bad hair day. Just give it a little haircut. Shaping it up. nice little pom-pom. There are different sizes that you can use. You can make medium-sized pom-poms, little bitty pom-poms used with finer threads, I'm sure, finer yarns, bulkier yarns, thicker medium-sized yarns. Very easy to do. Let's make a pom-pom the green way. The green way is to use what you've got around the house. A piece of cardboard, your yarn that you start wrapping. Just start wrapping yarn until you get a nice thick bundle. Okay, and after you filled it all up, you're going to slide this off. It's nice and tight. And then you're going to put your yarn piece around all these loops. 
tie it down tight like this. Here's a really good loopy one. Tied tight through the middle. And you have to start working around the edge and just cutting the loops so that you have the individual pieces of yarn standing up. Just like that. You keep going all the way around cutting the loops so that you get the shaggy dog look going. I believe I've got all of them there. Of course it needs a haircut, but that's your pom-pom. <laughs>